Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing 100 nothingcom I am Fug It. And that stands for the fittest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. Today guys, I want to talk to you about how to make your waist smaller. And if you can't make it smaller, how to make it appear smaller. So there's two things that I find are really good tips for that. First one, it's not even a tip, but it's an obvious um, way to do that and that's to lose body fat so when you lose it overall it's eventually sometimes people lose it fast on the waist others takes a little longer so suggestion from fuck it is to get rid of some belly fat you know drop some weight so first off second thing is to do vacuums okay so what it is it's more of like an isometric contraction and what that means is like tension without you moving the area, okay? So if you imagine just squeezing a muscle like you're bracing for somebody to punch you or kick you. <clears throat> the way you do this is that you would slowly inhale as much air as you can. And then from there, you exhale as much as possible. And while you're doing that, you're also pulling your stomach in as if you're trying to make your waist look smaller. It's harder than it looks. And um, bodybuilders of the 70s, like the Schwarzeneggers and whatnot, really mastered this uh, move to really draw the waist in. It's working on what's called your transverse abdominal, which is a really deep, low muscle around the belly. And when you get that stronger, it not only helps you with big lifts and protect, to protect your back, but it also acts like a muscular girdle and makes the waist appear smaller. So my suggestion is to do this every other day. Um, you could work up to every day if you'd like, but it, like any muscle, I think it needs its recovery. So I would suggest doing it a couple times a week and then maybe work to every other day, depending on the results you're getting. Um, again, they're extremely difficult to try to hold that tight position. And I'd recommend you hold it for 15, 20 seconds if you can to start and you can build up from there. Um, and then doing that um, even first time, do it once, second time, at the day after the next, try two sets of that. Um, and then build up from there and see what kind of results you're getting. So that's the first tip is adding in the vacuum. The second thing is building your medial deltoid. So that's the side of the shoulder, okay? Lateral raises, whether it's with a cable, whether it's with dumbbells, whether it's with resistance bands, but anything that's gonna laterally bring that arm up to the side, is gonna build that medial deltoid. Now, why would that make your waist look smaller? Well, it's the illusion, right? It's like, um, symmetry it changes the way like if you add an inch to your shoulders think about the illusion that it makes your waist look an inch smaller so even if you're thick waisted and you just got bad genetics or whatnot um building a little bit of shoulder width like density there muscle is going to make the waist look smaller so you do those two things boom you're gonna look more v tapered and bam all of a sudden wow you look leaner your waist looks smaller well it might get it it's only going to get so small, okay? Um, but, you know, without Photoshop. <sighs> Blowing the roof off of it. Um, anyways, real quick tips, you guys. Um, good luck with that. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, share, comment, blah, blah. Um, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great day. It's very early. I'm not posting the rock 3.30 in the morning, rocking it out videos, but... I'm still getting work done. Thank you, coffee. All right, five nothing, hundred nothing. I'm out. Take care.